Okay, so in this video we're going to go over the HUD again, but this time instead of making a health bar that works in a slider progress, uh, we're going to make a ammo bar that works with icons. And as we should, uh, we're going to get life less icons on screen denoting how much ammo that we have. Um, so the first thing that you should do is uh, go over to Google Classroom in Unit 70. I'm going to have this bullet count image. It's got 12 bullets in it, okay, so that's the maximum that we can have in our weapon. Uh, and then we're going to use this here as our HUD display, denoting how many bullets that we have left. So, back in Unreal, I've already drag and dropped that uh, texture in. The one thing you want to make sure is that you configure this for retro sprites, just so it has a transparent background. So, uh, in our HUD, uh, you can see I've got my health bar here. I'm going to click and drag in another progress bar and select that. Now in the fill image section, under none, I'm going to type in bullet, get a bullet count. Um, that there bullet count image size is a certain size, so I want to make sure that my actual progress bar is the same size. So I'm just going to type in 248 uh, by 67. So you can see 248 by 67 here, 248 by 67 there. Uh, I also want to make sure this is anchored to the top right, so if the screen size decreases in any way, it will still be in this position. And now you'll notice that nothing's there. This is because our percentage is at zero, and as we work up, um, it will fill that image up as well. Uh, so like before with our health bar, I'm just going to bind that, so create binding. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name of this new get percentage to ammo bar. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my blueprints and open up my character. And the first thing, two things I'm going to do are create two variables. Okay, so one's going to be max ammo, and the other one is going to be current ammo. And I'm going to set those both to floats. Now, if you haven't done already, um, I would watch my previous video uh, because I do go into detail on how to set up your HUD and display it on the screen. So that would be in my previous video under the Unreal playlist. Um, also, um, under Event Begin Play, if you have one, um, you just want to drag off and create a sequence and then you can you know, have different... Uh, different actions start at the beginning of your level or we're going to set our current and maximum ammo here and what I could do is I could just do it at the end so when it sets a viewport it will just make these a certain value and I'm going to set these at 100 so when we start the level um, it's going to create our HUD and then it's going to set the variables. Again, if you need this here or need to know how to do this, it's in a previous video. So we're going to create a function now that we can call upon. And this we're just going to call ammo decrease. And what we want to do is we want to just decrease the current ammo that we have. I'm going to make these two public as well. So I'm just going to set these, or set current ammo, and then I'm going to get it. And what we're going to do is, we're going to minus this by a certain number. So, because I'm working with an initial value of 100, and I have to figure out, uh, you know, I've got 12 bullets, but at a maximum I've got 100. What I have to do is basically get 100 and divide it by 12, and that will give me how much I should decrease per bullet. And that number is 8.333. And I'll plug it in there. So when I call in this function now, it's going to set my ammo, but it's going to set by taking what we currently have, uh, minus an 8.333 off it, and then making that our new current ammo uh, variable. So back in the event graph, you'll notice that there is a section called spawn projectile. Uh, what we want to do is that input action Basically, when we click on our mouse button, it's going to play an animation and it's going to shoot out our uh, projectile. What we want to do is we want to type in ammo and we'll be able to call our function. 
So in between uh, shooting out our projectile, it is actually going to minus our ammo uh, variable for us. What we can also do is we can make sure that we don't go below zero when we're doing this. So what I can do is I can get our current ammo and get a float. And the float is less than or equal to. So if my float is less than or equal to 0.5, So if my float is less than or equal to 0.5, I want to basically either do this or not do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click here and type in branch. And I'm going to say that if this is false, then we're actually going to play this animation. So if this is less than or equal to 0.5, it's true. It's not going to do anything. But if it's not, it's false. And it's going to decrease my ammo and it's going to play that projectile. Um, the reason I put 0.5 in there, remember I'm working on a uh, number of 8.33 when I'm dividing it out of um, 100. So it might be zero, I would usually put zero in there, but 0.5 seems to work better. So now I've got this here set up, I'm just going to compile and save. I'm going to go back to my HUD and I'm going to right click and type in character. So get player character. And from this return value, I'm going to drag that out. I'm going to get cast to my character. And from that there, I'm going to get current ammo and max ammo. Just make sure that you're doing this, that you're dividing your current ammo by max ammo and you're not doing the opposite. Okay, so I'm going to drag out from my current ammo. I'm going to type in float. And you can see division there, A slash B. So my current ammo is going to get divided by my max ammo, which is going to give us a value between 0 and 1. And that's going to plug into our return node. Compile and save. So that's not working at the minute, so let's do a bit of debugging. Oh, so I forgot to plug my cast and my character to this return node. Let's try that now. So you can see in the top right hand corner every time I shoot, I'm losing a bullet. And then when I get to no bullets, I no longer get shoot. So for the last part of this, we're going to make um, a collectible or a pickup. Um, if you go to your prototype weapon, you'll see that you've got a clip here that we're going to use. So back into my folder, I'm going to right click, make a new blueprint. I'm going to call it actor and I'm just going to call this ammo pickup double click on that and under components I'm going to add in a static mesh in my folder here I'm going to drag and drop in my static mesh the other thing I'm going to add into this is a sphere okay so this is kind of going to be my collision box so whenever I uh, walk in to this I'm going to basically collect my ammo. So under graph I'm going to right click my sphere and add event and it's going to be add on component begin overlap so when somebody walks over it I'm going to right click here and type in character so I'm going to get my player character which allows me then to get my cast to my character. I no longer need this I only really created this so I can get my cast to Plug that into there. All the actor goes into object now. And what we're going to do is from here we're going to call um, current ammo. So we're going to set current ammo and we're going to set it by a hundred. So we're going to give ourselves full ammo uh, when we walk into this. And then we're going to type in destroy, destroy actor. Compile save that. So when we walk into the sphere we're going to cast my character, we're going to set our current ammo to 100 and then we're going to destroy the actor. I'm going to get my pickup and drag it in here. Right click, snap it back. So shift, down to 2, walk over it, drop more. So that's working fine. There is another way that we can 
use our HUD. Okay, um, I'm going to do this very quickly, but you could put more uh, design aspects in there, I suppose. So in my palette area, if I go down to the bottom under primitive, I can get editable text, and I'm just going to drag this in. So this is some text that we can edit along, so we can actually plug in how much our current ammo is at the minute. Um, under font, we can change the size, so I'm going to go for something like 30, and I'll make it... It's big. Again, you can go into more details, add in images if you want to, change the background opacity, that type of thing. Uh, again, for the binding, I'm going to bind the text. So I'm going to create binding. Okay, I'm going to type in, I'll rename this uh, text ammo. You can see a return value is pink. I think that's a string, so that's a series of letters. Uh, what we're going to do again is we're going to type in here character. So get player character. From that there, we're going to get cast to my character. Make sure I plug this in. And we're going to do exactly the same thing from this cast to my character. We're going to get our current health, our current ammo. And from that, we're going to get max ammo. We're going to divide our current by our max which is going to give us a value between um, <coughs> 0 and 1, which we don't want. So what we're going to have to do then for this value is we're going to type in float and we're going to multiply it by 12. And then I'm going to plug this into return value. You'll notice that it will make this to text float, so it's going to take our flo float and basically turn it into text so it can display it on screen. And if you open up that, you can see that there's a load of different options that you can do. So you can, like, depending on what way you want to round it up or down, um, you can turn on grouping, minimum integral digits, maximum digits, minimum fractional digits, um, maximum fractional digits. It's up to you. I'm just going to leave it at default because this works. Uh, and then I'm going to compile and save that. Now if I press play, You'll see that in the top right hand corner, just under my ammo um, images, I've got 12. So it's just showing I've got 12 bullets. And every time I shoot, it's going to decrease. You can no longer shoot. Walk over the clip. Just give me 12 bullets again. Be able to shoot. So that's how you add in a ammo HUD uh, for your first person shooter. You can also do this for your 2D game if you wanted to. Um, and again, you can reuse this for your health. So instead of your health being this progress bar that slides up and down, you can turn it into an image. Um, again, you would have to work out the percentages and the numbers based off how many images you have in this.